You look beautiful. You can you please stunning. can you please break down this gown? It is gorgeous. Yes. Donatella Versace was kind and generous enough to let me go through some of the archives. Uh, so this is 1994 fall winter collect collection Gianna Versace. 90s is literally my favorite decade for fashion. I know. Well, yeah. especially Versace during that time as yeah. well. I, I, this is a, a piece of art dress. Yeah. So I feel I feel very honored. Well, you wear it well. Thank you. Uh, speaking of fashion, I feel like Wednesday has spawned like all of this now goth fashion. <laughs> Did you ever think, I mean, ha have you seen some of the, the looks that are out there now? Well, I think one of my favorite things to come out of the show is seeing kids' response where people will post photos of their perfectly colorful, smiley right. daughters and then like a week after watching Wednesday being <laughs> coming out in like black eyeliner or black lips. Yeah. I think that's so cool. I cannot wait till these girls get older and able to look back on their goth phase or if they stick with it and keep it, I think even better. God, even, better. even better, even better. I feel, I'm glad that it's um, kind of throwing something, a different kind of style out in pop culture. I'm right. very appreciative of that. So, I mean, Wednesday has some amazing one-liners. What, what's your favorite? Ooh, uh, I think there's one where they're trying to find a dress for the school dance. Yeah. And Enid says, uh, oh, I know, just what you need. And Wednesday says, a bullet to the head. Yep. And that's very true yep. when it comes to dresses. It's just so deadpan. Like, it's just... Yeah. Well, it's just... I, the way that we shot it, too, was very quick, and it was a really short scene. I think I just have a good memory of shooting that, and it makes so much sense for her to say. Everybody I've talked to has said, like, there is nobody, there is nobody other than Jenna Ortega who could have played this role. Oh, that's being too generous. No, too generous. But I feel, I feel really lucky to have even been given the opportunity to have done that. She's such an, an iconic character and someone that I, I've i always really admired. So there's there's a lot of pressure and a lot of responsibility that comes yeah. with something like that. I just want to make sure I did it right. And it's been number one on Netflix forever. Um, how has this changed your world, being a part of the show? Uh, I feel like um, maybe attention is a bit different. I feel like I'm... Now I'm kind of involved in this stuff a little bit more. Or I, what's been really exciting to me is just um, being able to collaborate with more people or get into more rooms that I necessarily wasn't always able to before. Um, but if anything, I, I, it, I don't think it's changed my life that much. I've been pretty fortunate. I, I kind of just keep to myself and do my work, and everything else that comes is just kind of part of the thing, but it's not my priority.